Celebrating success event. My name is Deb Harris. I'm the lead transition agent for the Jobs and Hope West Virginia program. Um, today we are celebrating the success of the program and also announcing a couple of new initiatives that we're rolling out. Transportation is the number one barrier that our participants face statewide. West Virginia is a very rural state and so transportation options are very limited. And so Jobs and Hope has a couple of new initiatives that we have to roll out to address those barriers. But first I want to just briefly tell you some of the recent success numbers that we have to report for Jobs and Hope. Currently we have over 1,600 active program participants in the state. We have assisted in partnership with Legal Aid of West Virginia, 24 of our participants um, to complete expungement. We have helped employ over 4,000 individuals statewide, and we have graduated 412 participants from our program. Thank you. So um, I want to introduce um, the man behind the dream, Jim's dream, was Jobs and Hope, and ultimately his goal was to help individuals in recovery um, obtain career employment and put West Virginians back to work. So, Governor? Thank you, Deb. Well, listen, and let me uh, let me try to be just as blunt as I can possibly be. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of people were saying, "Well, we need treatment because we had an epidemic that was terrible, terrible, terrible." And we had some places, we didn't have every place, but we had some places that could provide treatment. And then, you know, if I were to write a book or different books, they would all be titled, the easy stuff is always the toughest stuff to find. Now just think about it. Because this is relatively easy, but we couldn't quite pull it off. You know, if we had treatment, and that's all we had was treatment, at the end of the day, what we do is we treat, and then we recycle, and the circle just continues to go and go and go and go. So really what you need is other things. You needed people like Deb and all of her incredible staff to stay right with you, to stay right with you through the whole process. And you needed to learn, if you wanted to do construction work, how to do a construction job that was tr where you were trained on something that was truly construction equipment rather than trained on a pickup truck and show up on a job site and the first question that's ever asked is, well, what experience do you have? And you don't have any. And the next thing is you become hopeless. And then as far as jobs and hope, the hope leaves. Now, so at the end of the day, what you really needed to complete the whole process, you needed compassion and treatment. And then you needed somebody to hold your hand and really be with you through the whole process. And then you needed to be able to receive some level of training and you needed a pathway to be able to get the simplest of all things back your driver's license. And then the possibility of expungement. Now it's hard to believe that driver's license or driving could, be, could play such an incredible component in this and how important it truly is. So I guess what we're announcing in many ways is just, just another, another form of just pay it forward. An opportunity for people to help us to be able to provide that transportation, to be able to help our people, then in turn be able to help all of us. You know, when it really boils right down to it, West Virginia abounds with love beyond belief. And at the end of the day, that's what we've got to do. That's what we did all throughout all this terrible pandemic 
is we stepped up. We stepped up and pulled the rope together. And today, we've got to announce and we've got to do more and more of just that. You know, at the end of the day, and I don't know why in the world I've got these notes. I haven't looked at anything yet. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, as we all step forward, like it or not like it, but this terrible drug epidemic has touched every single solitary one of us. And it didn't matter if you were black or white or rich or poor. It didn't matter if you were young or old. It didn't matter anything about you. Surely to God above, it didn't matter if you were a Democrat or Republican. But it's touched us all. And absolutely the progress, and Deb just read just a little bit of it, but the progress that's been made and I would challenge every last one of you to one thing. What is one life worth? What's it worth? I mean, is it not worth it? Is it truly just not worth it? I don't believe that. I've I didn't believe that through all the COVID stuff, and I don't believe that now. So all of you that are probably here are absolutely believing everything that I'm saying. But we got to get all those out there to believe and help us all pull the rope too. So I'm going to pass back to Deb and let Deb talk some more. Thank you, Governor, and thank you for your continued support of the Jobs and Hope program and members of the legislature that are here for your continued support of the program as well. So announcing the Get Paid to Pay It Forward campaign. Uh, in partnership with the Office of Drug Control Policy, Motive Care, and First Choice Services, we have launched a campaign where we are encouraging individuals in recovery or anyone who wants to be part of the solution to sign up to get paid to take people to and from treatment. A lot of folks are already taking out of their time and their busy schedule to ensure that individuals get to treatment when they need it. Um, but we are hoping to encourage more individuals to sign up for this um, and get reimbursed with um, gas mileage for that. To be eligible for that, you have to be uh, have a dri valid driver's license, have a reliable vehicle that is insured, do a background check and a drug screen. For more information on that, you can go to Help for WV website. We have flyers here to sign up and we'll post it on all of our social medias as well. Um, motive care and the Office of Drug Control Policy have been an integral part of the transportation barrier solution for Jobs and Hope participants and through our partnership with Motive Care we actually have provided just under 70,000 trips for over 1 million miles. That's to and from the moon I think twice for our participants. So that is an amazing achievement in just under four years. Um, the next exciting initiative that we're rolling out today is the driver's license program in partnership with Good News Mountaineer Garage. One of the vehicles is here. We have two vehicles um, in the state that will allow an individual to have a safe, insured, legal vehicle to take their driver's license test in. That was a barrier that we were running into with our participants. The only thing they needed was their driver's license and they had no means to take the test. We have um, assisted over 1,500 individuals in obtaining their driver's license through Jobs and Hope program in partnership with the DMV. Um, and I have Ronnie Wiles from the Good News Mountaineer Garage here that's going to share a little bit about our partnership with them. We not only have the driver's license program with them, but we also have the car donation program for them. And he will talk a little bit more about that. And then I have two Jobs and Hope participants that have actually taken their driver's test in the vehicle too. And they're going to share a little bit about their experience. Ronnie? Thank you, Deb. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say I'd like to thank everybody for letting me be here today. And also, Deb and her staff has been really good to the Good News Garage over the years. If we have a problem, we call and we get it taken care of right away. Uh, we have any questions, we're able to get it answered. Sometimes that's not always easy, but with these guys, they're always really helpful to help us get things taken care of. As of today, we've done 34 of these driver's tests. Um, doesn't sound like much maybe to some people, but if you're one of those people that didn't have a way to take a test, it changed your life. Um, so we're very proud of that. We've done 34 this year. And our other program, we actually give cars out to people that are going through the program. And we've been doing that for three years now, almost three years. As of today, I'm very proud to announce, as of this morning, we gave one away. 151 cars we gave out to people coming out of recovery. 151. 
that has been that's been great. It's helped a lot of people and changed a lot of lives. Uh, we've had lots of things happen through that with people getting their children back, uh, getting good employment with a job, and being able to get to where they need to go has been very good for lots of people. Very, very proud of that. I appreciate you guys letting me be here. I appreciate our partnership, and I don't want to hold up anything from these young ladies that are going to speak and tell about their experience they had. But thanks again for letting me be here, and I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. Um, next, I'd like to bring up Ashley. She is the Jobs and Hope participant who utilized our uh, driver's license program. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. I can't tell you how much Jobs and Hope means to me. Um, my transition agent, Laura, has been with me since I graduated Recovery Point in January. They gave me a $125 clothing voucher so I could get clothes for my job as community organizer for West Virginia Family of Convicted People. And I don't know what I would do without the car because that was the hugest problem I had. I, I'm from four and a half hours away. I don't know anybody, so nobody would let me use their vehicle. Travis actually came out from Good News Mountaineer Garage. He took me test driving twice and then took me to DMV to take the test. And I'm also on the list to get a car through Good News Mountaineer Garage. But Jobs and Hope helped me get glasses just last week, and Motive Care took me there. So I can't give Jobs and Hope enough praise. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ashley. Next, I'd like to bring up Maylene. If you would mind to come up and just tell us a little bit about what this program has helped you do. Good afternoon, everyone. I just want to say thank you all for allowing me this opportunity to be here. I just want to thank you, Mr. Jim Justice. I'm not much of a speaker, but anyways. I want to thank Jobs and Hope, really. Um, last year, this program was introduced to me by a dear friend, and I was introduced to Tiffany. And eventually, I needed my driver's license, and so happened, Travis came along. And I was losing really hope, and Travis stood with me, and the day of my driving test, we had some hurdles on the way, and he said, you know what, Nalini, we're going to get this, we're going to get this. And just through the support, through Jobs and Hope, it helped me a lot. It helped me to grow a little bit. Through Jobs and, support, um, Jobs and Hope, I would also get the opportunity to get my GED, which I'm currently now starting to work on it. Due to transportation, um, they have arranged for me to, you know, get the transportation to Bridge Valley to do it. And a lot, of, a lot of more things through Jobs and Hope I can achieve. But I just want to say thank you all so much for having me, giving me the opportunity to, to be here and to experience this wonderful support. Thank you. Thank you so much to our participants that were uh, willing to get up here and share their experience. I know it's not an easy thing to do, um, but we appreciate you being here. That's what it's all about for us. Um, you know, there are a lot of great resources in the state of West Virginia, and, and Governor Justice said it best. It's often the simplest things that are the hardest things. Um, so having those transition agents in place to help navigate the resources that are already available in the state is a huge deal to our participants and life-changing oftentimes. Um, just the little things of getting a driver's license. And so they're, the sky's the limit now for those participants, and they can um, achieve any career goal that they have set in place. Um, so thank you to our partners that are here. I, I don't have time to list them all, but First Choice Services, the Office of Drug Control Policy, Motive Care, and the Good News Mountaineer Garage. Um, and then if you'd like to keep up to date on Jobs and Hope, we do have a Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn account, so please make sure you uh, like and follow us on there. And thanks, everyone. There are refreshments over here, and please take some things back with you to share with everyone. Thank you. And let me say just one more thing. Okay, and and I want you to I want you to all be uh, deputized or discipleized or whatever it may be, you know, especially all of our news media, all the all of our people out there that are watching on our live stream and everything else, and just know this. I said it just a second ago. What's a life worth? In all honesty, we know we have a real problem that could have cannibalized this entire state 
It could have absolutely brought us to our knees economically and socially in every way in the world. Now we've got to have more and more and more participation and more help. These people, Deb and all of her army of people are doing an amazing job. The people that are trying out here, they're trying. This is tough stuff and they're trying and we need you to help us. We need everyone to step up and really try to help. Absolutely, it's worth it. And we're worth it. So let's absolutely, you know, now we have uh, a program that's like a modern day Uber service within ourselves. I mean, that's really basically what we're talking about here. People can really get paid for going and doing something that really and truly, if they could afford to do it, they ought to do it just on their own. But we've got to incentivize everybody to step up. So at least let the world know that we have this program available and absolutely we can do a lot of good. We're going to keep at it. We've got a lot, a lot of successes to report and we're really proud of that. But we've got lots and lots and lots more to do. So thank all of you in every way. Thank you.